It's time for Appraise This with Tim Luke and Greg Schraub, the appraisal guys, the frick and frack of Nick and Knack. Uh, of course, you can find them on the web at tqag.com. And we say good morning to both Tim and Greg. Good morning. Good morning. Happy day. Here we go. Hey, uh, you guys are going to be south of the action, it looks like. Oh, yes. My goodness. Well, we're going to be flying on? over the action on <laughs> this weekend. On we have to fly... Thursday, yeah, we fly to Wheeling. We're doing a, a benefit auction up there for this will be our, I think, our 15th year, isn't it? Something like the 14th. 14th. How long do you say it's, it's, it's that time already? It's, it's yes, that time, it but we're, we're, we did not pack up the, the, you know, van. the, the house and the dog and the whole thing. No, because our schedules have changed and I'm working with Gerjohns and there's a lot that is altered and I, I can't be on the road for a whole month of September. So, <laughs> right. No. Th and that's, that's something that good. people just, some, some, something has happened and it hasn't happened. It's happened in the outer universe, but it hasn't happened in the inner universe of actually of, of these businesses, the, art business, etc. The things do keep ticking along and these get, there are still works coming to market and they are still being sold and you just sort of never, you, you, you don't hear about it unless it's exceptional and I don't, by this I don't necessarily mean good but, um, right. but, but meanwhile the, the, the system uh, people live, people die, uh, things come to market, things that have not been available for ages suddenly appear and you know tick tock tick tock it's kind of like the ruby slippers that just reappeared last week <laughs> right kind of like the ruby slippers and it, it must yeah. be pretty alarming to know that there are the, the, a bunch of people who don't even know know from the ruby slippers as we used to say yeah in the <laughs> like what, the ruby well, slippers the good thing is, is that there are a pair that are in the Smithsonian. So people that do have an opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and check out the popular culture uh, section that the Ruby, Ruby Slippers are there. The, this particular pair, they were at the Judy Garland Museum and were stolen several years ago and 13, were just recovered 13 years. 13 years ago and were just recovered. And. Greg was pointing out just before we were talking, uh, just before we uh, came on the air, Greg, tell them about the mismatch of the shoes. You talk about Which provenance and, uh, and, and uh, uh, verifying that something is authentic. <laughs> this is a, uh, an amazing turn of events. When they were, um, uh, no one really noticed until they sent the shoes to the, Smithsonian to be authenticated that and the pair that the yeah and analyzed the uh, pair that was in that's currently in the collection it is totally mismatched uh, and as it turns out the mismatched pair that was uh, that they recovered uh, matches the mismatched pair in the Smithsonian. We, the the shoes in the Smithsonian there was a slight difference that was not really noticeable until they had until you have the other one the, right in until the left, you had the, the other right one shoes, yeah. and so now they they have uh, authenticated them and the same mismatch uh, in each pair of shoes however they are not going to match the pairs back up they Why? are going to leave them exactly as they are. Right. And the insurance company that owns the pair that was recovered because they paid out a million dollars to the owner of the um, shoes after they were stolen. Um, when were they stolen? I, I beg your pardon. What was that? I said, when were they stolen? 13 years ago. Oh, 13, 13 years, years, years ago. ago. 13 mm -hmm. at, from the Judy Garland Museum in wow. Grand Rapids, Michigan. They weren't. They were just on display there for a very short period of time, and it was, they it was said, part of an exhibit. Yeah, it was part of an so, exhibit, and they didn't have any security. <laughs> yeah, they had none. Oops. They said, "Oh, they'll be they'll be fine. They'll be fine." And so they were on display by the owner. And they ended up being stolen. And of course, 
there was a very large reward put out and they, they weren't able to solve it until last year they got um, caught wind that somebody was trying to either make amends or <laughs> they wanted to extort. Or a profit. <laughs> Right. They can make a profit. I think they're but they still it. haven't been able to find who the person was that stole them. But they really can't. I also well, read that they not- can't really do anything to him or her because of the statute of limitations has long since uh, expired. So, but they're still trying to find out who did it. And uh, in any case, so the ongoing are, ongoing yes. investigation. Yeah. <laughs> So those are turned up. And then also at auction, and this just happened, I think, about a month ago, um, Elvis and Priscilla Presley's mobile home, actually, that they had that was on their trailer. ranch. Trailer. Or their, well, it was their, it's a mobile home. It's a Delta mobile home. It was, um, it's heading back to. Okay. It's a manufactured home. It, it's heading back to Mississippi. Uh, the, the new owner actually purchased the the mobile home and it was on uh elvis's circle g ranch and the 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 manufactured home sold for sixty seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and the winning bidder max wiggins of Keymaw, texas states that he plans to repatriate the mobile home where fans can enjoy it so what he wants to do is is renovate it but you know, just just spruce it up a little bit. It still has the gold sink and the gold tub that Elvis put in for his uh, enjoyment, I guess. And he's going to rent it out to fans, so it'll be kind of like a Airbnb for Elvis fans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a lot so. of that. Oh, have oh, either of you ever been to Graceland? Have either of you ever been there? Marshall, have you been to Graceland? No, I, I, I. I, I I haven't. I, I have no desire. Oh, that's a no. You and that's, really? Now, wait oh, one second. I just want to skip back to something. He hasn't been. I haven't been. But what I want to skip back to is, speaking of Airbnb, um, you probably would not be astonished at the number of Elvis memorabilia bedrooms you can get, if that is your preference. Right. Uh, right. And, and I only found this out through a, a kid who was uh, trying to find a place for his <laughs> daughter. In, uh, you mean air quotes? A friend, a friend of yours. Come on, Joe. We know we know you better than that. What do you, you mean? You, you, you it's, love it's, it. a, it's a it's it's a it's a a, a friend's son, who's in the middle of a custody battle with a young. <laughs> uh, what, what, what well, you? I will say, if you've never been, it's quite an experience, and I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and the amount of hi- uh, hysteria around Elvis, even after the, all these years, uh, the fans just go crazy. Uh, and it's that's really kind of the fun, is when you go there and you see everything that happens. And it's actually very interesting, but uh, there are, um, you know, Elvis is one of those icons like Marilyn that is just going to continue. And forever. Yeah, yeah, and it, it never ceases to amaze me that they find different and new collector items uh, for from his estate that come up, and when they do, they always they always perform very well. So, but I do recommend if you're going to take a road trip, it's really worth taking the road trip. To well, Graceland. yeah, so you could go to Graceland, or you can probably go and stay at this. Uh, oh, <laughs> any one of numerous home. in the mobile. <laughs> hey, where where is the mobile home going to be again? It's it's in, gonna it, it's, 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 it's going to be right. on the grounds at Graceland, I guess. No, it's going to be outside. It's in somewhere is in Mississippi. It? I think he's going to put that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be in that area because. Uh, so that it's he, it's going to be near where the Circle G Ranch I think was. So they're going to put, you know, the, put the money into it, do that, and they'll have a number of people that'll say, "Oh, I got to sleep in Elvis's mobile home, <laughs> his, his manufactured house." But he used that in on his uh, on his ranch, and while he was doing the film Clambake, they. He had two or three, um, I think it was three or four weeks off, and that's where he stayed because he just enjoyed being at the ranch there. And 
he had his what was called the Memphis Mafia, the people that um, just surrounded him. He had other mobile homes put on the the ranch around the lake, and Elvis and Priscilla had theirs, and they actually that's where they spent time after their honeymoon um, was there at the ranch and in this mobile home, and you know it was just one of the places that he enjoyed to relax. So interesting, interesting background in history. Right, that's called a uh, provenance. I think it's yeah. just, I, I, I'm sort of, I, I have to tell you, I'm sort of stuck on the mismatch of the shoes, <laughs> of the ruby slippers, simply yeah, I because. I think it's one of the greatest things. Exactly, because it's one well, of those, <clears throat> you know, I, I, the part of my uh, mind that wants order would say, hey. Wait a minute, put them right, make it right. Make it right. <laughs> uh, you, 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 things but come along in the evolution. It. And I also I, understand it if you've ever done any kind of musical theater or any kind of shows where there's a lot of costumes and props oh, and yeah. extra things and things backstage. <clears throat> you know, what you have to remember that for every movie, there's more, there's four pairs of shoes, five at least. or more, at least for one thing. Five or seven different outfits, 10 different that are the same. They are all the same, just so that they can be used in all the different scenes and they don't have to worry about cleaning them every single day. Well, one and, of the reasons that they discovered that they, they're, they're hypothesizing, I guess that's the word, that the mismatch happened uh, in 1970 when MGM was getting ready to put up uh, a sale of a lot of the costumes and props from yep. yeah from a, a number of movies and there were multiple pairs of the ruby slippers and right. apparently the mismatch uh, happened at that point in time and the gentleman who purchased a pair of them paid two thousand dollars for them in 1970 mm -hmm. and along with the gingham dress and some of uh, other props and costumes and um, at that time, I mean, they were, I guess you really had to look very closely to see the dissimilarities. So, sure. so for all of these years, since 1970, the ruby slippers that we're looking at in the Smithsonian are not a matched pair. Once one is a little larger than the, the both are, they're two different sizes. And uh, that's how they discovered that this pair that was, was stolen is yeah. the matching mismatched pair yeah. which i find <laughs> fascinating well what, what we have to do right now is click our heels three times and say there's no place <laughs> like home there's no place like home there's no there's place no, like home <laughs> there's no place like staying on time That's you right. gotta get this train out of the station guys. I, sh I should have been a conductor they make more money too <laughs> <laughs> have a great trip Thanks. Thanks. We'll talk, talk to you next week. week. Be okay. safe, guys. Take care, guys. Right, Thanks. Bye. -bye. bye. Uh, Tim Luke and uh, Greg Schramm, the appraisal guys, the frickin' frack of Nick and Nack with Appraise This.